love light greetings gratitude blessings blessings so family my divinity to yours welcome and welcome back i thank you for your love light support your comments clicks likes and shares appreciation participation and our uniting light For the working and weaving, the sharing and caring, the giving, forgiving, lifting, uplifting and shifting people and planet into energy, synergy of higher dimension. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am reading now on Princess Catherine's spirit and how she feels about Rose Hanbury, her recent attendances at the royal events. She was seen with Camilla at the Badminton Horse Trials and the OBE, which is the Order of British Empire, the service that was recently held at St. Paul's Cathedral, where her son, um, Lord Oliver, was holding the cape of the king. And I was very surprised that that rightfully is the role that little Prince George should be playing. However, the reading might come a little late after the events, but as always, I wait for divine guidance in which to read. I have not been feeling good about this in any case. Of everything that's taking place recently and her name being utilised and her energy being abused to a certain degree. And of course, if she was here in reality, such occurrences would not be taking place. So it, it leads one to speculate, contemplate, etc. On what exactly is going on behind the scenes that a lot of us are aware of but a majority is de in denial but let us go ahead and call divine spirit to come through mother father creator of all that is immaculate articulate supreme and sovereign to grace our energy presence our space with your love your large your bounty and blessings and I ask for you to speak through and bring clear information on behalf of Catherine, Princess of Wales Spirit, on her emotions, her feelings, on the recent appearances of Rose Hambury in attendance of the royal events. Thank you. At the bottom is the Seven of Swords, Deception. I have the Four of Cups, Wandering, Contemplating, Unsure. Eight of Coins, somebody's worked very hard for this. We have the Queen of Cups. Um, Rose Hanbury is a Pisces. I do not see her as the queen, but at this point she's been treated like a queen, like royalty. We have the devil and the six of wands. So clearly this was well planned for her to be at these events. It was quite an honor to have her. It is negative. It's been crossed. And here she is. So this was a staged, a planned performance, um, appearance. Tell us, Catherine, spirit, princess of Wales. What are you feeling about this right now? How are you feeling about this? Knight of Wands. Dark energy happening in the shadows very quickly taking action for these type of events. It is planned. 
However, it was sodden planning. Two of coins, definitely. It was last minute decisions and choices. Juggling the possibilities of having or not having and therefore sudden decision for yes. And that speaks about both the events that she was present. I have the King of Swords and the Justice card with the page of coins that fell out. So there was an order that came from high up, meaning a king, possibly William's word, to bring her in. Justice, Catherine is not happy about it. Right? She's clearly not happy about it. She wants the justice for it. Right, page of coins, opportunist. This was an opportunity that they used, right? Calling her in at the last minute. And Catherine's not happy about it. And she grabbed these opportunities. You see, Catherine's oust. She's out. The King of Swords is leaning on the Two of Pentacles. Right, so he was quite happy. He's got two colours of the flags. Both the events, he decided to make the choice and oust her. Right. Opportunity. He's taken this opportunity. Um, it's not a, a an opportunity to be uh, proud about or prized about. It is... Fill in the gap, you know, let's bring her in. Strength. Emperor. Knight of Cups. Temperance. Six of Swords. And Two of Cups. A very strong energy coming through from Catherine. She is not happy at all. Very strong energy. Her spirit is very heavy and upset about it. Emperor energy. Well, definitely a high up okay to it. So that king of swords is... Definitely William's energy coming through. And the emperor is that he ordained, right, her son being um, absent for the king's service, not carrying the cape, and someone else doing it. Right, Catherine's not happy about that at all. Knight of Cups and Temperance um, had to bring in somebody else to do that. Little, I think his name is Oliver, Lord Oliver, to balance that out for whatever reason. There's the Lover's card. There is something going on behind the scenes. Six of Swords, that's where he's the direction he's moving. Can you see? He's moving in this direction and, of course, to his goal, his other goal. Right? She's not here. We know that. She's absent in the literal and spiritual sense. Right? Her spirit is around, but she's not here. So they're taking full advantage of this. The Emperor is ordaining all of this. And she's not happy at all. Anyway, 
additional messages night life i have retaliation anything else meeting obsession searching all right so meeting obsession searching night life right this is what they're risking now they're gambling with life they're gambling with everybody Night is what is in the dark, what is hidden, what's behind. This is the life that's going on in the dark. This is what's been hidden for so long. So now they're gambling out in public. They're taking this risk. Payback, revenge and punish. She feels punished. Catherine feels punished. She is hurt. Right? But... This energy is not positive either. It's being done revengefully. Right? The one that's attending, it's as if I've got to pay back. So what has she got to pay back? What has she got to give back? It's, she's got to be there. Right? Does she know too much? Meeting, planning, discussions, two or more people. We've already had this card. Right, a lot is going on behind the scenes. And this was planned. Sudden planning, change of plans. It was discussed, it was agreed, it's not a chance happening. It's now an obsession. Right. It is an obsession to have her. It's an obsession to do what they're doing. Without thinking and seeing clearly. Right, People are searching. In the, in the real sense, people are searching for Catherine. She says, they are, they are looking for me in the crowds. They are trying to see me in the crowds. They want to know where I am. Right, People are online searching for her. Uh, they're trying to find a lot about her, but people are kept in the dark. Right? People are blind blindfolded. They're blinded. They're not seeing the truth. You've got blindfold, you've got a person wearing sunglasses. So the one that's wearing sunglasses is the one that you are seeing which is false, hiding behind something, right? And this is now an opportunist using the opportunity for her advantage. It's like, you've, you've had rumours about me before, well, now you see me here in public invited. And that's what I'm feeling here. This is Catherine. Look at this. Irreconcilable differences. Divorce final. So it's an end. It is an absolute end to Catherine. It's telling the public it's an official end. So this is what it looks like, like they're divorcing or, or nearing the end of a marriage. Um, Maybe this is what will be publicised, she says. Right? There's been talk of a divorce for a long time. They've had differences for a long time. So what she's saying here now is, this is what they are projecting out there, that Catherine and William are possibly going through a divorce. So it's okay if Rose comes along, Catherine won't mind, while she's recovering. Thank you, Divine Spirit.
beautiful hearts, I love you, I thank you, I bless you, till next.